This is LASOS, Los Angeles Strategies or Solutions. This is a program by the Institute for Public Strategies Westside Impact Project. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to LASOS. And today we are talking with Teilani Jackson. She is the Student Wellness Commissioner at UCLA. Hi, Teilani. Hi. So happy to be here. Good, good. We're glad to have you. Um, all right, first, what does a student wellness commissioner actually do? Oh, gosh, okay, a variety of things. So um, as background, the student wellness commissioner is one of the 15 elected student officers. Um, and we all sit on the undergraduate student association council along with like the internal vice president, the president, external vice president, and like a various other positions. Um, but the student wellness commission specifically is all about health and wellness and the health and well being of students, of the student body. Um, so this is kind of like a twofold task and position. Um, the first one being the sole representative, the go to representative of all health and wellness initiatives at UCLA. So I'm like the admin's first contact when they're trying to inquire about student well-being on campus. Second task is to promote programming, services, fairs, things of that nature, geared towards health and wellness for students. Um, so it's both sides of the spectrum are covered here. But yeah, that's a pretty good background. OK, all right. And that brings us to why you are part of the Westside Impact Project. Um, tell me first your impressions of WIP. Where do I start? I feel like I have met so many passionate, um, kind people in this space. Um, I've been really honored to work with you all. Um, I know that this has been a partnership that the Student Wellness Commission has cultivated throughout the years. Um, and I feel like together we do a lot of meaningful programming for the students that are well needed, um, well needed intervention on campus, given that uh, campus culture has a lot of been, drink been drinking and um, unhealthy conception of alcohol. Um, so I do think programming and intervention in college on college campuses, specifically the UCLA, um, is well needed. So we had the wild night a little while back and a couple of other things. Tell me your impressions of that. Okay, so wild night was awesome. We've had, we had a lot of people show up. Um, I would say close to at least 80, maybe 100 people, 100 students showed up. They were able to create tote bags um, with really cool programming and um, like cool, like type art type thing. Um, and then also what provided free sandwiches for everyone. And it was located, it took place on a Thursday night, which is what um, college students coin Thirsty Thursdays, where students are going out to the parties on front row. Um, and just to know that we had such a great turnout means that instead of going to these frat parties or parties in general, um, students had fun in a different way. It's kind of like reimagining what fun looks like as college students. So it was a really, really great event. And we had a, a lot of great feedback from the event as well. Oh, what were some of the feedback from some of the students? Yeah, so I invited a lot of my residents too, since I'm a resident assistant on campus. So my residents really loved it. They've been, they're still talking about the program. Um, they all have their bags still, but they had a lot of fun. Um, they think the event was like well organized. They loved the fact that they were able to take something home. So it wasn't just like, okay, we're gonna create something and like, that's it. They were able to take something home with them that they can have for the rest of their college experience. Um, so I think that was beautiful. And they also love that, you know, they love free food. So yeah, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't love free food? <laughs> Um, so what else would you like to see WIP do for students this year, all in the name of um, providing another outlet for these Thirsty Thursdays? So again, like you said, we can reimagine the concept of fun, that it doesn't have to involve alcohol. I love that question. I think further collaboration between our two spaces is definitely needed. I think the Student Wellness Commission is a good outlet to the student body. Um, so I think health programming like Wild Night is a great alternative. Um, I do know that during like finals week, 
midterm season, especially since we're in the quarter system, it's high stress, like <laughs> pretty much for those 10 weeks. I think if we can come together and program during midterms or finals, when there's a lot of like increase in drinking out of stress, emotional drinking, I think that would be a really, really great intervention. So we're not just focusing on like the party culture of it, but also like stress and like how students cope with stress. So like, like a self-care night um, of some sort, I think that would be great. Okay. Um, and then speaking of that, those are the, the kind of the two avenues where you see people might tend to drink um, a little bit more the Thursday nights and then stress around exams. Yes. And, you know, college students are, I, I would say, prone to social drinking more often than other diff different demographics, but especially during those two, like Thursday, Thursdays, the parties and then midterms and finals for sure. Okay. What is your personal goal? Are you interested in getting into the health field? Yes, I want to be an OBGYN. That's the, the long-term goal for me. Um, in terms of goals, just for the student body, I have many. I will say that their healthy consumption of it's like what I'm looking for. Like I don't want people or what I don't want students to feel the need to have to resort to unhealthy habits to maintain their health and well-being. I want them to have an abundance of resources that they're always like taken care of, their mental health is taken care of. I think that's like the long term, very broad goal, but like the sub goals under that is like my driving passion for my tenure as student wellness commissioner. Excellent, excellent. And do you, is there still, and it, this was a thing when I was in college, um, well before you were born, but is it still um, where people uh, also feel pressure to drink, to fit in, to maybe if they wanna join a sorority or some other group? Oh, absolutely. I absolutely, I actually think I missed that scope. Um, so in addition to parties and in addition to like midterms of final season, there's, um, I would say like a good portion of students who are not like prone to uh, like drinking as a coping mechanism or drinking as a, a way to have fun, but um, may hang out with people that do do those things. And it's kind of like, oh, if you don't do it, then um, you're not cool or you know you're being a square I know that I heard that often <laughs> um, my first two years of college um since I wasn't really big on drinking either um so that's definitely a definitely a big group on campus for sure okay all right well we look to you as a leader to help us figure out programming that addresses those issues because again um having healthy college students helps everybody you know from whatever age they are and wherever they live in the city so uh, we welcome your uh, connection and hope you can help us come up with some new ideas of course thank you so much for talking with me all right, thank you so much. And we'll be back in touch because you are an integral part of WIP. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Jelani. Thanks for watching LASOS Los Angeles Strategies or Solutions from the Institute for Public Strategies Westside Impact Project. And remember to follow us on social.